Hello, I'm James Grayson, and I have a question for you. Where have all of the patriots gone? The patriots. I mean, those individuals who are brave enough to take on the social ills of our time, and even to do it with, uh, at the expense of their own faith, their own fortune, their own fate, their own health. Where have they gone? Well, I want to speak to you for about one of those great patriots of our time. And I'm talking about a wonderful, and a great and uh, probably uh, little known woman by the name of Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was born a slave in 1820, around that time. And even though she was uh, considered to be very modest, very small, and then said that she would not have the ability to make any significant impact in the world, yet she uh, saw herself as greater than her position, greater than her place. Even though she had endured much tribulation, much hardship, much hurt, she had been whipped on her back, she still had the scars that she carried all of her life. And then she had even been struck by a stone when she tried to help one of her, one of her uh, uh, co-slaves. Uh, at one point was struck by a stone so hard that it gave her a concussion that caused her to be afflicted with uh, bouts of narcolepsy all of her life. But still, she thought of herself as greater than her station. And then one day when she was realizing that, it was a, that there was a very good chance that she and her family could be sold off, she decided it was time to depart. She and two of her brothers took off and headed out. But then when they discovered that a $300 reward had been placed upon their heads for the return or capture, the brothers decided to return. She helped them to get back to the plantation. She took off to Philadelphia, and there she found herself free. It is said that when she arrived in, uh, in, the, in the area of the north that is considered to be free land, that she said even the sky itself seemed to be made of gold. And then she realized within herself that she was not free just to be free, but she could no longer enjoy that freedom as long as someone else was enslaved. And so she took it upon herself to head back down south and reach and grab her family and bring them up north with her. And she rescued many of her family, her, including her mother and her father, and kept going back almost 20 trips back down south at great risk and peril to herself just to gain freedom for others. She was not just concerned about herself, but she was concerned about others as well, a patriot indeed. And even more than that, even in when the uh, Civil War uh, began, she saw it as her patriotic duty to join up, and she became a nurse, a cook, a spy, and yes, even a guide, and she became the first female to guide an armed milita military group into enemy territory, and she rescued and liberated more than 700 slaves. And so I'm talking about this is a phenomenal woman indeed, amen. So, uh, and, and so this woman, she uh, not only was she um, uh, a patriot in, in this regard, but then after the war was over, she even took it upon herself to be a humanitarian, even though she never really gained much notoriety, much notoriety or even much fame or fortune, yet she purchased land and donated it to the church. And upon that land was built a, a home for the aged. And then she also became a an advocate for women's suffrage, and she also uh, 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 did everything that she could to help anyone who was in her in her realm within her family. She she allowed her family to stay up on the land to which she had purchased. She was truly a patriot indeed. So the next time you start looking at yourself and wondering whether or not you are able to make a significant difference depending upon where you came from, think about this woman who started below subpar and ended up at the top and was buried in full military honors. Harriet Tubman, think about it. <laughs>